my camera's four hundred dollars and it's too good for that tripod. We have to buy a better tripod. So now I gotta go buy a nice tripod. Sometimes tripods cost a lot of money. Well you got it for a steal. That's just a cheap okay. chat. Look at that 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 area. No, I'm just saying I love those kind of areas. You want to stop? No, well, no, no. Let's let's keep going a little bit. We could check this out on the way back in. What we're doing, folks, is we're the beauty of being out here in this new forest is that we can use these. We have permission to use the forest roads. We can't even use them at night. And that's cool. And then, about the swift mud areas prohibit using the vehicles on the roads. So we're going to be able to use this to get deep into this area. Probably the soil is because of what chemical? Not sure. It's almost a clay color, like you see in Georgia. That's good enough for me. Let's check it out. Wanna take a little stop? Yeah. What do you think you saw? I just saw a couple of dark areas that were silhouetted. I think. They yeah, and maybe moving. I think they were trees. Well, you never know. Might as well have a, have a <clears throat> When I was working with Mitch Waite, he had a sighting from the, from the truck as well. And we stopped. Let's just check it out. I mean, we're miles from nowhere now, which is great. So we did that whole loopy about 15 miles. There's, uh, I don't know how many miles. It's probably 10 or 15 miles, 20 miles north to south. Well, where the cave is, a good 15 square miles of forest. The cave is a good 15. Anyway, let's focus in on the oh, if it's over here. Something's been off road. Hunter's beer bottle. sick with bronchitis and I'm running a fever but this work has got to be done I think George is using his monocular
ties and mackerel skies, but I don't see the mackerel skies. On the Van Fleet Bike Trail, which is part of Old Railroad Grant, coming out of Polk County, going to Powerline Road near Sumter County in a green swamp. The two Bigfoots that were reported by BFRO also were followed by the sighting <laughs> of an olive color helicopter. Now, George doesn't know I'm going to ask him this. George. Yes. Just so my, my viewers are clear on this. We've camped before in the Green Swamp. And, uh,. Most recently, the, uh, or a couple times ago, before I got there, what did you see flying overhead? A lot of crows. And did you see anything that might have been? Well, we did see a, a unknown helicopter. What color would you think it was? Oh, it was black. It was shiny and black. Um, it, I think it did have some kind of marking. Did you ever see any olive or camo colored? No. But this does not look regulation. Uh, it looked uh, very high tech. Jet engine in addition okay. to the rotor. Because I was telling my viewers about the Im immediate follow up of two Bigfoot crossing the road, very similar to this, that a ca he, he said a camo colored flew over. Now, I did get an email, folks, from this is not a crackpot. I got an email from a member of the Hillsborough County uh, Commission. A uh, lady gave me her name and her. Or email and I followed up on it and she's a member of the Hillsborough County Commission and she believes that there is Rex 84 activity going on in the Green Swamp. You familiar with Rex 84 George? Yes I am. Yeah. And they also found a, enough sort of radon isotope of uranium what they were finding at the bottom of those phosphate mines. Now I'm getting into a theory about malformed apes as a result of that. That was actually out of an episode of Matlock. I said, let's move it on. Sun's setting. <clears throat> yeah, let's move on down the road. Yeah, let's do it. Heading west on Trail Center. We're definitely heading west. Sunsets where, folks? 